I'm Margot Finn. I'm Adam Smith. We both teach in the history department. And in this little video, we're going to be telling you about the core courses that you'll be taking in your first term at UCL. History as a discipline is changing as we speak, and the core curriculum that you'll be pursuing in your first year reflects that. You're all um, fantastic historians, you've all got excellent grades, and you're all very good writers. That's why we've admitted you to this department. But there are particular challenges that you're going to face now that you're moving out of a school environment and into a university environment. And what we're trying to do in this first term is to support you in that transition. Writing history is a course that you're going to take in the first term of your first year here at UCL. Its purpose is to give you help and support with your writing, especially given the transition you're going to be making from writing at school to writing at university. And what we're going to do in this course is to have some workshops in which we can think generally about what writing is, uh, what makes good writing, how to construct an elegant argument, how historians express their ideas. We're going to combine that with some very intensive teaching. So in your first year you'll get several small group tutorials, just three students or maybe four students in a group with a tutor, talking in detail about very short pieces of writing that you'll have done. And each student will also have a one-to-one -one tutorial with a tutor discussing the full draft of an essay. This will be the first essay you'll have written at university. And after that tutorial you'll have a chance to rewrite it and resubmit it before you get your final mark. And what we want you to do by the end of this course is to have the capacity to reflect on your own writing, to have a greater understanding of uh, how you communicate your own ideas on paper. Like the writing history course that you'll be doing in the first term of your first year, making history is a course that's going to develop key skills that you'll be using not only in your first year but subsequently in the degree programme. Making history includes lectures, core lectures delivered by the course leader, seminars, five of them in the course of the year, each for about two hours, and additionally group work done independently though under supervision. In Making History, you'll choose a group project that you'll work on with six or seven other students over the course of the first term. And those group projects, those research questions that you'll be investigating, build upon the built environment, the objects and the manuscripts and documents, the history that surrounds us here in Bloomsbury and more broadly in London. Having chosen your group project, we let you loose in the city, uh, armed with a tablet, and uh, pop get you to populate a website that we set up for you. So each group will have its own website to populate. And at the end of the course, in addition to presenting that blog to us, you'll also be giving an oral presentation for assessment. The fantastic thing about this is that with Making History, you're going to have the opportunity in a group, not only to get to know some of your fellow students, but to work on an original historical project that will also get you out of the history department and into the local area. We're here in the centre of London surrounded by history and the Making History course will enable you to not only to experience some of that but to add to our understanding of that history. Students often describe themselves as reading history. We hope that the Making History course gives you a very different sense of history as something that certainly centrally involves reading and writing but also goes beyond that. So by the end of the first term, you'll have had a one-to-one -one tutorial on an essay that you'll then be able to redraft and resubmit. You'll have done an exciting group project which will have created a new piece of historical analysis. And these things will have equipped you with the skills that you need to become an excellent and successful historian at UCL. There are also obviously key skills that will serve you very well in employability after your degree, or indeed during your degree, while you're here at UCL. Thank you, and it's good night from her. <laughs>